Silence on set, please. That's the one. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, we've got Gareth, 45, found collapsed at home, hypertensive, pulse rate 120. Just realised he's just stopped breathing. Gareth, action! This is the funeral scene, so um, the final scene, and um, <laughs> oh, wow, okay, yeah, this is the funeral scene, the <laughs> final. What we wanted to do was we wanted to create like an, an abstract event where you have an over-the-top kind of funeral. Basically, the sequence started with a very traditional um, exterior shot where you've got the funeral with four pole barrels, but then as it came into the church through the doors, it was almost like a, a huge festival um, of colour and party poppers and music and it was just great. We got some, we got people, to, extras to come today and donate their time and it's just been absolutely brilliant. I'm so, so, so thrilled with everyone's support. When it's going to be edited, it's going to be quite abstract. It's not real life. I mean, the people here who was portraying LGBTQ people wasn't necessarily how the LGBTQ community is or acts. But um, it's just an over-the-top kind of um, uh, tableau, really. Today is part of the Dying Matters campaign, which is run by NCPC, which of course is a very, very broad national campaign. And we wanted to make sure that there's been gay and bisexual people and trans people were involved with the production of anything that was video pieces, reports, anything that comes out of that program, we want to make sure that LGBT people are involved. And that's why we thought it was really important to make sure that we were here today to be involved with that. We're setting up for the George Hendrick sequence. A bit complicated with the lighting, but I think we've got it right now. Yeah. Well, we're here today at St Barnabas Church to film the funeral scene, which is the last scenario in our film I Didn't Want That, so we're very excited. We've got people here from the charity, National Council of Palliative Care, everyone from Flix and lots of people from the consortium and just it's a real good vibe and it's just fantastic. <laughs> people should um, prepare for their end of life experience and um, they shouldn't leave everything in the hands of other people and they shouldn't let other people do exactly what they want to do. What we're trying to do is make sure that people talk about death and dying in a positive way and having this many people engaged today has really been a thoroughly positive experience for me and I think all the other organisations involved so I'm really very very happy. I won't lie, we are slightly behind schedule, but there is hope. I will get everyone back on track. Look, Luke over there, he's on my side. We will finish on time today because I said so. Otherwise, we'll put Leon in there. <laughs> this was an idea from a focus group we did with the LGBT consortium just around messages for dying matters generally um, and they came up with this idea just about this scene actually and then we thought it was such a great idea we expanded it to uh, be an entire short film. If this costume is still standing by then I'll probably want to get buried in this and I want my film to actually reflect me, which is slightly bizarre. Odd. Yeah, odd. odd. Maverick, but I want it to be humorous. I want people to go, yeah, that was Tess. And I hope it'll make people think um, about what they want at the end of their lives and also tell somebody about it so that they get what they want and not what they don't want. I think you've got to get across what you want to 
the end of your life. Don't leave it till you've gone and somebody has to preempt and try and guess what you want. It's about being able to feel comfortable with talking about dying and that is a really, really important step and one that I think is really missing in the LGB and T communities because there's so many other things that we don't talk about that actually dying is really the end of the list and what we want to do is bring that right up there and make it an important, important thing to talk about. Oh, the atmosphere is great. Everyone's dressed up and having a good time, having a good party, which is what it should be, which is what funerals are all about, essentially. They're far too often they're portrayed as sad and quite depressing things. Um, and it should be a celebration of somebody's life, not uh, a memory of somebody's last moments. Finished uh, the final day of filming. It's been absolutely brilliant. Really nice people. Very good crowd, full of energy. We got some great shots and I think it'll be a very, very uh, kick-ass film. Maybe that's the wrong word. We got through how many shots? We got through, I don't know, nine, ten different shots, a million different setups in like three hours record timing because we're just great like that. It's going to be a very deep and emotional film. But the mood here wasn't exactly that. It was very full of joy. You know what I mean, right? Well, I think that it is important that, um, you know, from family that are left behind, that they know what you, you want. So actually it's important to talk about these things and make your plans so that, you know, you have a, a sort of celebration or, you know, things are done in the way that you would like. And also from your family's point of view and your friends to know that they are celebrating your life in the way that you, you would have wanted. So I think it's about highlighting the importance um, of being open about these things. It's been really fun actually. Um, really nice small crew, which means you get to do a lot more things. You don't, you're not uh, restricted to one department. You're, um, you know, I'm helping light him, helping lay track, doing all sorts, which is nice, varied. I think it's been a really, really amazing production. Um, we've kind of gone beyond what was initially asked of us because we really believed in the actual project. There's a lot of a lot of life in death. I know it sounds a little bit cliche, but um, and these having these conversations is really important. It means a lot to us, and yeah, we just want to do it justice. So thank you. <laughs>